Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Photos app update from the Canary channel, the Windows 11 Insider program. Well, Microsoft, of course, is continuing to improve the Photos app. And in this video, I'm going to show you the latest new improvements and also some of the new settings that were added inside the Photos app. I think most of them are pretty useful. And if you want to see all of them, stay tuned because I'm going to show it to you all in this video. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, if you are enrolled in the Canary channel, just make sure to open up the Microsoft Store and then go in the left side to the library section, and then click on get updates. This will basically help you to update all your apps, the Microsoft Store and all of that, including of course the Photos app inside Windows 11. So I'm just going to open the Photos app right now and then you can go up top here on this settings button and then scroll down to the bottom. You're going to see here the version of your Photos app. So this is the latest version 11060.27 01. This is the latest version. If you have this or a newer version, you should see all these new features and additions inside the Photos app on your Windows 11 operating system. First of all, if we open up an image, for example, this one, double click on it, you're going to notice that some new options are now available directly from the main screen of a photo. For example, we have the share button, which is now directly available here. We can click on it and we have share options. We can share using OneDrive or using more options. If you click on it, the official share window from Windows 11 will pop up and you can select your settings of course from here and also we have this new button start slideshow which will help you to start a slideshow really quickly and of course here up top you have all your necessary options which you can use to customize your slideshow also certain photos can be opened up in certain microsoft apps so for example we're going to have here in the right side all the microsoft apps that you can use to open this photo for example you can use of course the photos app to browse all your photos and videos you have edit an image in designer online create a video with microsoft clip champ and also the OneDrive personal account, which you can use to manage from there. I think that is pretty useful. Also, we have some updates related to the zoom in feature. So we have here the zoom to actual size. Basically, this effect will zoom in the image to its actual size. You also have this, which includes some options with some presets, but you can also insert a custom zoom selection if you want. And you also have this slider that you can use to zoom in or zoom out on your image. So basically, you have all the necessary options to zoom in and zoom out of any image with no issues. Also in the left side, you're going to notice that now the size and dimensions of your photos are now visibly displayed. So I think that is pretty nice. You can see the resolution 1080p, also the dimension, which is 1.4 megabytes. Microsoft also introduced a new feature that lets you choose and manage where to begin transferring photos and videos from local devices at your convenience. And I think that is also really nice. And related to performance, this release also comes with the new multi-process performance lifts that improve your load time by 2.1 times. And also, if you go into the main photos app and then go into the settings section again, and at the top of the personalization section, you're going to notice this new option, which is spotted by Phantom Motion 3 on Twitter, performance, allow Microsoft Photos to run the background at startup to improve performance. I know that this can improve the performance of the photos app, but hopefully it won't lower the performance of the system all around, but that remains to be seen. For now, I'm going to leave this option enabled or turned on, and I'm going to see in the near future if I see any weird resource usage from the Photos app. So basically, these are the new improvements to the Photos app. I think most of them are pretty useful. There are some features that were requested by users, and I think it's really good that Microsoft listens to its users. As I've said, if you want to check out the latest update for the Photos app, just open up the Microsoft Store, check for updates, and you should get the latest version, of course, if you are enrolled in the Canary channel of the Windows Insider program. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.